Hello, my name is Colin, I'm from Chester. This video is for Cami Badenoch, Minister of Government. She probably won't watch it, but probably the civil servants will do, so it's for them really. This is a, a video about an attempt at a new science, a science of why things happen, not how things happen. And I call it a science because it makes very little, very few assumptions. It makes an assumption that God exists, God created the solar system, and that uh, something went wrong in the growth stage of man's development. Apart from those assumptions, it tries to be entirely, lo entirely logical. We've already studied about the dualities that uh, Sun, Moon, Moon described. So dualities are common pairs of characteristics you see throughout nature. And the first one is masculinity and femininity. And you see this in male and female people, male and female animals, male and female flowering plants, and as particles, protons and electrons, masculinity and femininity. And the other one is internal character and external form. So internal character is invisible and it has a purpose for whole. And the external form is visible and has a purpose for the individual. So the next bit is my own work. There are two ways to relate to God. Because God consists of dualities, you would expect to see this. And the two ways are the way of beauty and the way of love. Looking at the way of beauty first, when mankind was created, using that first assumption that God created mankind, um, ma mankind was created in God's image. So because of that, mankind was beautiful, because in the created in the image of God. But something went wrong during the growth stage. As man was growing to perfection, something went wrong, and man fell and became ugly. So to be beautiful again and to receive God's love, a man has to see his sin and repent, and then God can love him again. And this is the teaching of Christianity in a nutshell. The next is the way of, way of love. So this centers on purpose for whole. The man is the subject and gives to God as the object. So if a man makes an act for world peace, God can accept the offering and return love to him. And this is typical of the religions of the Far East and of Islam. Islam is a way of love type religion. So looking at the way of beauty in detail now, from the point of view of purposes, when the mind dominates the body, the purpose for whole dominates the purpose for individual. Therefore, the overall purpose is unselfish. When the body dominates the mind, the purpose for individual dominates the purpose for whole. They, therefore, the overall purpose is selfish. This is sin, or described as sin by Christians. And it is things like gluttony, excess sexual desire, alcoholism and drug abuse. So in the next section, um, I'm going to talk about atheism in a minute. When the mind, when the mind strongly dominates the body, the body gives an energy to the mind called vitality elements. And this is the way that the spirit grows in people. But atheists, this can be by taking a jog, for example. If you go out for a jog, your mind is strongly dominating your body. And therefore the body gives an energy, a spiritual energy to the mind called vitality elements. But atheists also enjoy going for a jog. So atheists also enjoy being beautiful. When, um, when an individual makes a way of, way of love condition, he receives life elements. So when an individual makes a sacrifice for a purpose greater than himself, maybe through a profession like being a policeman, being a doctor, being an MP, God gives an energy from God to man's mind, and we call that life elements. But uh, atheists also enjoy way of love type conditions. So when an atheist puts a pound coin into a beggar's cup, he feels good. And that's the, that's, we could describe that as the life element coming into him, but an atheist just knows that he feels good. So atheists, in other words, enjoy making way of beauty conditions and way of love conditions. A man's spirit grows by receiving both these vitality and life elements. Atheists are subconsciously aware of these elements and will directly seek them out. So within our streets and within the world of employment, there is this unwritten law 
that everybody will be either beautiful or loving or both. And the laws of the land that govern the country apply equally to atheists and to religious people. But the way to perfection is both beauty and love united in, by dynamic give and take action, centering on freedom. And that's all I'm going to do today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.